Hello, explorers and history enthusiasts from around the world. Welcome to a thrilling new episode of our travel series. Today, we're embarking on a journey through time, across the picturesque landscapes of Italy, to discover the secrets, legends, and architectural wonders of this remarkable country. Our first stop on this historical adventure is none other than the Colosseum in Rome, a structure that has stood the test of time and become synonymous with the might and grandeur of ancient Rome. The Colosseum, also known as the Flavian Amphitheatre, was constructed between 70 and 80 AD, during the reign of Emperor Vespasian. It's a marvel of ancient engineering, featuring a massive elliptical structure made primarily of concrete and sand. What's truly remarkable about the Colosseum is its capacity. It could hold up to 80,000 spectators, making it one of the largest amphitheaters ever built. Its ingenious design allowed for efficient crowd control and swift entry and exit for all. Inside these colossal walls, epic gladiatorial contests, mock sea battles, and chariot races once took place, captivating audiences from all walks of life. The Colosseum was the heart of Roman entertainment, and the events held here were nothing short of spectacular. But the Colosseum isn't just a testament to Roman engineering and entertainment. It's also a symbol of the culture and society of the time. The seating arrangements reflected Roman social hierarchy, with the best seats reserved for the elite. Now, let's explore what lies beneath the arena. These underground chambers held the secrets of the games. Trapdoors allowed for the surprise entrance of gladiators, wild animals, and props, creating dramatic moments that thrilled the crowd. Over the centuries, the Colosseum has weathered earthquakes, fires, and the ravages of time. Yet, it endures as a testament to human creativity and resilience. Extensive restoration efforts have preserved this ancient wonder for generations to come. As the sun sets over the Colosseum, it takes on a whole new character, bathed in the soft glow of floodlights. It's a reminder that while the gladiatorial battles have long ended, the Colosseum continues to be a symbol of Rome's enduring legacy. So, as we stand here before the Colosseum, we're not just admiring an architectural masterpiece, we're connecting with the past, with the stories of emperors, gladiators, and the thousands who once gathered here. Stay tuned as we continue our journey through Italy's historical landmarks, each with its own unique story to tell. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to join us on this incredible adventure. Next up, we head to the ancient ruins of Pompeii. Let's go! Our journey through Italy's historical landmarks now takes us to the mesmerizing ancient city of Pompeii. This extraordinary archaeological site holds the secrets and stories of an ancient civilization frozen in time. Pompeii was a bustling Roman city located near the Bay of Naples. In 79 AD, the catastrophic eruption of Mount Vesuvius buried the city under layers of ash and pumice, preserving it for nearly two millennia. As you stroll through the well-preserved streets, it's as if you've stepped back in time. The city's layout, with its streets, shops, and homes, reveals the daily life of its inhabitants, providing a unique window into ancient Roman culture. Pompeii boasts some truly remarkable villas, showcasing intricate mosaics, frescoes, and architectural features that were the epitome of luxury in their time. These villas serve as a testament to the affluence and artistry of Pompeii's residents. One of the most haunting aspects of Pompeii is the plaster casts of the victims. These casts were created by filling the voids left behind by decomposed bodies with plaster. They offer a poignant and sobering glimpse into the tragedy that befell the city. Just like Rome's Colosseum, Pompeii had its own amphitheater. It hosted a variety of events, from gladiatorial battles to theatrical performances, and could accommodate up to 20,000 spectators. Pompeii was also a center of religious life. The Temple of Apollo, with its majestic columns and intricate detailing, was a place of worship and reflection for the city's residents. One of the standout structures in Pompeii is the House of the Fawn, named after a bronze statue of a dancing fawn found on the premises. It's a prime example of the city's opulence and exquisite artistry. The Forum, at the heart of the city, served as Pompeii's political, economic, and social center. It's surrounded by impressive public buildings, including the Basilica and the Temple of Jupiter. As we explore further, we come across the Garden of the Fugitives. This heartbreaking area showcases the plaster casts of those who attempted to flee the eruption but didn't make it. Pompeii is not just a historical site, it's a living testament to the fragility of human existence and the power of nature. Walking through its streets is a poignant experience, a connection to the past that leaves a lasting impression. Our journey through Italy's historical landmarks continues, so be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to join us as we explore more of Italy's rich history and culture. 
Next up, we head to the iconic Leaning Tower of Pisa. Stay tuned. Our next stop on this historical journey brings us to the iconic Leaning Tower of Pisa, one of the most recognized and beloved landmarks in the world. It's a symbol of both architectural marvel and human perseverance. The Leaning Tower of Pisa, or Torre Pendente di Pisa, in Italian, stands proudly in the heart of the Piazza dei Miracoli, Square of Miracles, in Pisa, Italy. It's a masterpiece of medieval architecture, and its charm lies in its unintended tilt. Construction of the tower began in the 12th century and took nearly 200 years to complete. However, during the early stages of construction, it became evident that the tower was leaning due to unstable soil. What's fascinating is that the lean was unintentional, but it's this very imperfection that adds to the tower's allure. Its tilted appearance has intrigued and puzzled visitors for centuries. As you wander around the base of the tower, you'll likely see tourists engaging in the age-old tradition of taking, holding up the tower, photos. It's a testament to the tower's enduring popularity and the joy it brings to those who visit. The Leaning Tower of Pisa also holds a significant place in the history of science. In the late 16th century, the famous Italian scientist Galileo Galilei is said to have conducted experiments here, dropping objects of different masses from the tower to study gravity. The tower's exterior is adorned with exquisite architectural details, including columns, arches, and delicate friezes. The seven bells inside the tower continue to ring out, marking the passing hours. As the day turns to dusk, the leaning tower of Pisa takes on a captivating and romantic ambience. Its silhouette against the twilight sky is nothing short of magical. The leaning tower of Pisa is not just an architectural wonder, it's a testament to human ingenuity and determination. Despite its tilt and centuries of challenges, it still stands tall, captivating the hearts of millions. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to continue our journey through Italy's historical landmarks. Next, we'll be exploring the treasures within Vatican City, so stay tuned for more adventure and history. Our journey through Italy's historical landmarks now brings us to Vatican City, a sovereign city-state within the city of Rome. Despite its small size, Vatican City is a treasure trove of history, culture, and spirituality. At the heart of Vatican City lies the magnificent St. Peter's Basilica and St. Peter's Square, where countless pilgrims and visitors from around the world gather to witness the grandeur of this spiritual and architectural masterpiece. St. Peter's Basilica is a stunning example of Renaissance architecture. Its dome, designed by Michelangelo, rises majestically, offering breathtaking views of Vatican City and the city of Rome. As you step inside, you're greeted by the sheer grandeur of the basilica's interior. The light streaming through the magnificent stained glass windows bathes the space in a warm, ethereal glow. Right here, under the towering dome, stands the Bernini-designed Baldachian, a magnificent structure that marks the spot above St. Peter's tomb. It's a masterpiece of Baroque artistry. The papal altar, adorned with exquisite artwork and the Holy Spirit dove, is where only the Pope can celebrate Mass, and it's a place of deep significance for the Catholic Church. Within Vatican City's borders lies the renowned Vatican Museums, which house the world-famous Sistine Chapel. Painted by Michelangelo, it's an artistic masterpiece, with its awe-inspiring ceiling and the Last Judgment frescoes. While much of Vatican City is accessible only to Vatican residents and officials, the Vatican Gardens offer guided tours, allowing visitors to explore the lush greenery and enjoy a serene escape from the bustling city. And let's not forget the Swiss Guard, the colorful and historic military unit responsible for protecting the Pope and Vatican City. Their distinctive uniforms and weaponry are a unique sight. Hidden away within the Vatican's walls is the Vatican Library, a treasure trove of historical documents and manuscripts, including some of the world's oldest and most valuable texts. Vatican City is not just a destination, it's a spiritual and cultural center, a place where faith, art, and history intersect. It's a testament to the enduring legacy of the Catholic Church and a symbol of unity for millions around the world. As we continue our journey through Italy's historical landmarks, remember to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay updated on our adventures. Next up, we'll be uncovering more gems within Vatican City, so stay tuned for an incredible exploration. Our exploration of Vatican City continues, and as we venture deeper into this unique city-state, we discover even more hidden gems that reveal the depth of its history, art, and spirituality.
One of the first gems we uncover is the Apostolic Palace, also known as the Papal Palace. It's not just the residence of the Pope but also a complex of historic apartments, chapels, and galleries. Within the Apostolic Palace, you'll find the Raphael Rooms, a series of sumptuously decorated papal apartments adorned with frescoes by the renowned Renaissance artist Raphael. Hidden away from the public eye are the Borgia Apartments, a set of rooms named after Pope Alexander VI, featuring intricate decorations and exquisite frescoes. The Nicolina Chapel is another gem within the Apostolic Palace. It's a small but lavishly decorated chapel known for its stunning frescoes depicting scenes from the lives of Saint Stephen and Saint Lawrence. Beneath Street Peter's Basilica, you'll find the Vatican Grottoes, a series of chapels and tombs that house the final resting places of many popes and prominent figures in the history of the church. Even further below, there's the Vatican Necropolis, a fascinating archaeological site. It's an ancient burial ground with tombs dating back to the Roman period, offering a glimpse into the history of early Christianity. The Apostolic Archive is another intriguing place, housing an extensive collection of historical documents, letters, and manuscripts dating back to the 8th century. Art enthusiasts will appreciate the Vatican Pinacoteca, an art gallery that showcases an impressive collection of paintings, including works by artists like Raphael, Caravaggio, and Leonardo da Vinci. For those with a curiosity for the cosmos, the Vatican Observatory is a hidden gem. It's one of the oldest astronomical research institutions in the world, blending science and faith. The Vatican Apostolic Library is an intellectual treasure trove, containing a vast collection of manuscripts, books, and ancient texts, including some of the world's most valuable and historically significant documents. Vatican City is truly a place of endless discovery, where every corner holds a piece of history, art, or spirituality. These hidden gems are a testament to the richness of Vatican City's cultural heritage. And with that, our incredible journey through Italy's historical sites comes to an end. We've explored the wonders of this captivating country, from the mighty Colosseum to the leaning beauty of Pisa, and the spiritual heart of Vatican City. We hope you've enjoyed this deep dive into Italy's rich history and culture as much as we have. It's been an absolute pleasure sharing these remarkable landmarks with you. As we bid farewell to this enchanting land, we'd like to express our gratitude to you, our incredible viewers. Your support, enthusiasm, and passion for exploration fuel our love for travel and storytelling. If you've enjoyed this journey as much as we have, please consider giving us a thumbs up, subscribing to our channel, and hitting that notification bell. It's your way of ensuring you never miss our future adventures. Italy's historical treasures are just the beginning. Italy is filled with countless wonders waiting to be discovered, and we can't wait to share them with you in our upcoming videos. Thank you once again for being a part of our travel community. Goodbye from Italy, and we'll see you on our next journey.